Hey guys, Josh from CaliforniaThroughMyLens.com. Today we're hiking Kelso Dunes. The Kelso Dunes are located right in the middle of the publicly accessible area of the Mojave National Preserve. They're the largest set of dunes in the preserve and they take up over 45 square miles. This area is about a three and a half hour drive from Los Angeles and you can see the dunes easily as you're driving through. The trailhead is about four miles drive down a dirt road and I've done it multiple times in a two wheel drive car. I imagine after a good rain it might be a little rough but all the times I've been it hasn't been too bad. Here we are at the trailhead for Kelso Dunes. There's a bathroom and information and then that is the dune we're hiking. All right, so this is my third time doing this trail. After the second time, I swore I wasn't gonna do it again because it is no fun hiking in sand. But I love you guys this much that I wanted to show you the Kelso Dunes Trail. It is a pretty amazing trail. It's just sand hiking is no fun. This trail is about three miles round trip and it takes you to the top of the tallest dune, which is around 650 feet tall. One of the best desert hikes I've ever been on in California was actually the Kelso Dune Trails one time for sunset. So that's what I'm trying to do today. Started about 45 minutes, an hour before sunset. I'm gonna see if I can get up there and see some of that light I saw last time. The first quarter mile or so is not bad as you're basically just walking a flat trail in the sand. Then once you get out here, you kind of just have to pick your, your trail we're going there and we go up that like ridge line, but you can see lots of people have gone lots of different ways. The trail is relatively straightforward, but if you're coming for sunset like I did, be sure to have an all trails map as it can be hard to know which way to go back once it starts getting dark. I love seeing these little ridges in the sand where people haven't walked. Doesn't feel like we've made it very far. <laughs> Just trudging along. You can see where we started back there. That's what we have left to do. So getting to the uphill portion. Looks like something else has been coming through here as well. I don't know what that is. Like a bird or something? Uphill is starting. First hill done. Beautiful sunset. Still climbing. The sunset's at 6.45 and it's only 6 right now, so I thought it'd be a little bit sunnier here. Hopefully it's still pretty nice when we get up there. That's the kind of thing I was hoping to catch. Not sure it's gonna stay. So this is when the elevation is starting to kick in. We're climbing up hills to get to that saddle. During this part of the trail, it really does start to get tough. Also, I highly recommend you don't do this in the heat of the day. Even during the winter season, if there's a lot of sun, it can be pretty brutal. Beautiful sunset out there. We're heading up here the saddle. As you make it up this section, it's basically one step forward and a half step back in the deep sand. There was amazing views out towards the horizon though, so it made it worth it. All right, so we made it to the saddle. Just a little bit more to go to the summit. The sunset's beautiful. I was hoping to get up here where it was right there. But I missed it by just a little bit. It's moving fast too. As you continue the hike to the summit, I definitely recommend staying on the ridge line. If you go to either of the sides, the deep sand makes it easy to slip down. I stayed here to take a few more pictures and just to watch the sun go down. But look at how fast it's already down. Maybe like a minute or two. All the times I've been here, this part has had a ton of wind kicking up the sand, which makes it a little bit interesting. Made it to the summit! 
of Kelso Dunes. I'm exhausted. If you've ever done a dunes hike, then you definitely know the exhaustion that you feel when you get to the top. Plus, with the wind whipping up the sand, I didn't stay for very long. The sunset was absolutely incredible. I wish I would have got there a little bit early, but I can't complain. Amazing desert sunset for sure. After hanging out for a little while and watching the sun go down, I started the hike back to my car. Note that this area is called the Singing Sand Dunes, and they have like this booming sound that you can hear when you're walking down them. I tried to capture it, and here's the best I got. That's it for this hike up to the top of Kelso Dunes. As you can see, the summit views are amazing. Get here a little bit earlier though if you wanna get a sunset. And don't ask me to do this hike again. We'll see you on the next one.